This is the day, this is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history, a chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching. Stay with us on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Spain up against Portugal. Well, Derek, I'm really excited by these two teams. There are some top-class players all over the pitch and some really good matchups. This could be a great final today. Let's hope so. Here's the lineup for Spain. Fabian plays with Rodri in central midfield and Morata and a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, sadly, you've got to say it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Well, as we know, Spain have a very rich pedigree when it comes to the European Championship. Winners in 1964, 2008 and 2012. And this current crop, you've got to say, must be in with an excellent chance of prevailing in the final. Well, I have to say... I think oh, they could put it away, Stuart! Oh, tremendous save! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Who can he pick out? A strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. The cross is on. Carvajal. Can they forge ahead? Not out of the woods yet. That was going in. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. And the referee has given them a corner. They take it short. Out of play and a Spain throw in forthcoming. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And problem solved for now. That is how to apply the pressure. They knew they wanted to apply the pressure, and they did. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Oh, the threat is there. And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. <laughs> this to open the scoring here. And he slots it home with confidence. Let's take another look. 
He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Pepe. Nuno Menge. On the ball, Rafael Leao. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now what can he do from this excellent position? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Kukureya. <laughs> Lovely work to get past his man. Ronaldo at the ready. And they deal with the threat this time. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. Lenormand and the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on advantage with them good tackle I think the referee was spot on there a free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage Laporte take it away he won the ball And Portugal showing good wins. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. Well, it was a poor attempt. And a goal kick it is. Well, pressing really high. Ronaldo wasteful in possession, not really like him. Just had no time on the ball on account of the pressure. Plenty of support here. Effective challenge. Leal. This could level it. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? on an occasion like this well here's the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it and Ronaldo wasn't going to miss this one from that range he was always going to score what a well constructed goal So the ball is rolling again at one all. Kukureya. Here's Fabian. And that'll be a Spain throw in. This looks promising. A good and fair challenge. Well, a really good run. Can they take the lead here? Real chance. He's blocked it. Leal. 
towards Bernardo Silva. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Wasteful from Spain. Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Mm. And he's won the ball. to get them ahead oh a goal to give them the lead and look at the celebrations well as you can see he gets a touch on this but it's not quite enough to stop the goal it was a good effort though well he has to come up with a game plan his side are struggling now So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Now, who can he play it to? Disappointing pass. Leal. And a long way out. That's a routine take. by the keeper might give them a chance and Bernardo Silva has it and beyond the last defender offside so a personnel change then Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Kukureya. 30 minutes to go then. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And teammates to play it to. Well shown inside. And fine goalkeeping. Cristiano Ronaldo and the ball back with Spain now Danny Olmo nice ball to switch the point of attack Ronaldo oh managing to beat him was there for him but unable to find the target well he certainly went for power but the accuracy just wasn't there he should have scored that <laughs> Lenormand Pedri into the final 20 minutes. Showing patience. 
looking for the equaliser. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Ruben Dias. Vitor Ferreira. Moving the ball really well here. He takes a. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, when you attempt a bicycle kick, you've got to get it spot on, Stuart. Well, he just makes the wrong contact, doesn't he? The intent was right, but the end product is way off target. And they're making a change. And Spain struggling to keep the ball. Now just the tackle that was needed. Time running out, but they could yet win it. Can they forge ahead? Oh yes! The goal that might well be decisive. The goal that could give them the trophy. Let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Did well to win the ball back. Another great challenge. Free kick here. Laporte. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. This could square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper. Opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there. But really, that should have been the equaliser. And there's not long left now. Oh, the referee allowing the play to flow. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. Bruno Fernandes has it. straight at the goalkeeper then Bernardo Silva really fine piece of defending play to break us up and the referee is going to add on four added minutes Jota left his marker for dead a goal and that is going to be that name on the trophy for certain
So the current scoreline, 4-2. And there goes the final whistle. Portugal have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Portugal! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.